following the Eighth Doctor as a rabbit. Do you know this place, Jerry? Sure, that's the old path through. I am sure that you have sensed that this is a special place. Special? Magic. It's easy to get lost in places like this. Hey, I'm not a little kid anymore. Even adults can become lost in the woods. Do you sense something? I hear a, a rumbling. Use your coin, Jerry. Oh, hello. Oh, man, a toad. It's gigantic. The magic of this place allows it to survive here and grow. Forgotten by time, but just as with any other power, magic too can be misused. Like the power of this portal tree, then we intervene. We? The magicians, the tree walkers. A, a tree walker? I thought I was a magician's apprentice. Tree walkers? I thought I was a magician's apprentice. We tree walkers use magic portal trees to travel back and forth between different worlds. Different worlds? Places, times, and possibilities form an almost infinite number of worlds. You will be trained by me in the tradition of the tree walkers and acquire this ancient knowledge of walking between the worlds. Uh, that kind of sounds complicated. Uh, it's quite easy, almost like riding a bicycle. Really? No. At worst, it feels as if you're being ground to a powder between two contradictions. I, I don't understand. None of us do, but you'll learn quickly. Or die. <laughs> a portal tree? What does that mean? Portal tree? What does that mean? Portal trees are trees with roots that reach deep into the fabric of reality. So deeply that they exist in more than one place and time, creating magical connections. Some use these connections to move back and forth among the worlds. As do we tree walkers. So how do I use it? How do you... How, how, so, well... How do you use a portal tree? Ah. But how do you use a portal Stupid tree? mouse. This is where magic begins. Ring. Wow. Go through the portal, Jerry. From now on, casting magic and wandering between worlds will be an important part of your life. Isn't it dangerous? I mean, hey, whoa! Probably should have waited for an answer. Four, four nails. We must hurry. What? What's the four nails? We shall ride the wind, as we have always done. the villain? No? Okay. So, that's what I thought Four Nails was. Hey! Whoa! This still looks like the woods we have back at home. Only somehow... Different. Here we are! Slightly. Well, that's a, with, with a backpack. The farther we go from the portal tree, the more clearly you will come to realize that we have left the world you know far behind us. Only the parallels here at the portal tree suggest a connection. Such as this wall. Follow me, Jeremiah Hazelnut. Okay. Hello. Hello. What? I promised you magic. Another world. Before you, Jerry, lies Mouse World. Wow. The radio. I think.
Here you will complete your training. Hogwarts. Roke Island. But where's the school? And and all the teachers nice. This world is really magical. <laughs> its trees send their roots deep into the earth and create connections like the one we use to get here. This world will be your school. And its inhabitants will teach you many things. This place may seem unusual to you. But soon it will be an important part of your life. And then, once your training is complete, you will see the world with the eyes of a tree walker. So follow me, young hazelnut. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. That sounds like the name of a squirrel. I know this must still be overwhelming to you, but I need a moment. Just wait here. I'll be right back. I'm going to announce you to the town council. Uh, all right. Okay. That wise or sensible? Wow. Being this small is really interesting. Who would have thought that mice have towns? Well, hey! Hey! Back. Hey! Achievement unlocked! Hooray! Young squirrel. Have you seen Plato the Frog by any chance? I've been waiting here for a package from the Super Squirrel Boutique for Smart Squirrels. Super Squirrel Boutique? <laughs> That's a funny name. Oh, really? So what's your name? Me? I'm Jerry. Oh, I think Jerry is a very funny name. And I bet you don't make drop dead stylish accessories. Um, no. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. You see, I'll just keep waiting for Plato and my package then. Oh, maybe I should have left town with my cousin Edgar instead Aww. of standing here and thinking about how the crows could come back at any time. It just feels creepy, but I've just got to have my package. Okay, so it probably was Massford because they were talking about the crows a lot in that right in the radio program, weren't they? Is it just me? Or do these statues look happy? I think it's just you, mate. They look weird. Up this way to the city wall. Beware. Uh, slippery in winter. Oh, man. I wish I was here in the winter. Sliding down here would be so much fun. Mm. I can go up there, can I? Something tells me I shouldn't ignore the Marquis' instructions. Is it Marquis or Marquis? Important question. Excuse me, but no time. I've got to practice. There's a birthday party this evening at the Hares, and I'm prepping to go. Where? Well, hey! Pudgy animal with umbrella. What a strange-looking squirrel. He looks so daring. Like he has a lot of stories to tell. Daring. No, not at all. Don't you see all these maps? What, what? Oh, so you're a map maker. Oh, no, 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 hardly. I'm a traveler. Is this your first time in Mousewood? No, come and see me later at the battle. Just walk up the ramp to the right of the town gate. Okay. A horn in the middle of the square. Maybe you can use it to call someone. Oh, I meant to hold it. Ah, excuse me. Why did I have to find this stupid thing? Hello. Hello um, again. Hello? Is everything okay? Psst. Is there... Is there someone behind me? I think... I'm being haunted by a ghost. I, uh... I, I don't think you are. At least I don't see anybody. I can't see anyone either, but I know someone is there. You find one strange book in the woods, can't understand a single word, and then they stick you with a ghost. Isn't that just typical? I get all the luck. <laughs> At least I don't see anybody. I can't see it. Oh, okay. Isn't that just... No. Okay. 
Blue Juice. Tasty and blue. A quality product from the Wood Dwarves. Hmm. Oh. Oh, there really is someone behind you. Now he's gone. Hmm. I knew it. Oh, lucky me. Oh, how liberating. What did the ghost look like? Mm, well, he had a pebble head, and uh, his arms were twigs and leaves. Really? That must have been a wood sprite. I didn't think they were real. You know what? Here, take it. I found book. it in the woods. Maybe the book belongs to the wood sprite. If you see him, you can give it back to him. Well, let's have a read uh, again. I thought it was cursed or something. Hello? Why do you think he passed it off to you, mate? Well, the mouse with the backpack gave it to me. It's full of writing I can't read. I wonder whether it belongs to that mysterious... Ah! There you are. He was complaining about other people taking his stories, wasn't he? Come, Jerry. I want to introduce you to someone. Please excuse this sudden trespass, honoured owl and squirrel. Ah, Jonathan, this is the rabbit I was just telling you about. Yeah. <gasps> oh, but, but that's... Holy Dormouse, those eyes, eyes that have seen countless worlds. Some say he knows no mercy, but my parents said he was one of the first tree walkers. I was not the first, but I knew him. The Marquis de Hoto. I was barely knee high to a grasshopper the last time I saw you. In accordance with the tradition of the tree walkers, I hereby present you my apprentice, Jeremiah Hazelnut. I am here to request support for him, so that he may learn the art of arts in these woods. Ah, magic, of course. I should have guessed that right away. So this nestling is a new magician's apprentice. And we thought the tradition of the tree walkers had been lost. Ooh, hot. Magician's apprentice, please hold your horseflies for a moment, Jonathan. Certainly not. Tradition demands that we immediately prepare the treetop festival. A new tree walker must be celebrated properly. You don't According have to. to tradition, the apprentice must make the preparations for the treetop festival alone. What? Nestling, before your training begins, you must send out invitations and order the blue juice and baked goods for the festival. Precisely. You should speak to Anya Mouse. She is the very best baker here in Mousewood. I shall wait for you here, Jerry. I'm interested in what's happened here. Mousewood has changed. Does that mean I'm supposed to run around out there all by myself? <laughs> I trust that you can take care of yourself. It's Why? still summer vacation. This is your adventure, Jerry. Do you think you can do it? No. Absolutely. No. This is daft. Oh, stop. But don't step on the books. Shouldn't somebody tidy them up? That's what I'm doing. But Conrad's niece, Ursula, keeps mixing them up again. Huh? Hey, something to read. Harry Otter and the Chamber of Egrets. That is a historical novel. <laughs> Shouldn't somebody tidy them up? That's what I'm doing. But Conrad's niece, Ursula, keeps mixing them up again. I always tell people the crows cause the mess, and Ursula makes sure that it stays that way. <laughs> Are there any more puns? Hey, something to read. Harry Otter and the Chamber of Egrets. Oh. That shouldn't that uh, I, was I always <laughs> I was hoping for a, a kind of mix of them. If I go hey, here. something to read. Harry Otter. That shouldn't that but Conrad, I always... <laughs> Saving for a mix of different puns. Warm. Warmer. 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 
Ow. Hot. Yes. Uh, no. Still only warm. Okay. Warmer. Alright, so he just goes around, does he? You aren't allowed up there, youngster. Up there are the documents concerning the town, the law, and the constitution. You have to be a member of the community to see them. Also, it's possible to climb all the way to the top of the town hall from there. Really? Indeed. Perhaps you will decide to live in Mousewood one day. Then I will show you. Hmm. May I bother you for a second? No, I'm working. What are you working on? Brain work. <laughs> that means he's staring into space. <laughs> <laughs> I am thinking and planning. What is there to plan? We must replenish our spores. A crow must have feasted in here during the evacuation. For months, our beautiful mousewood has been subjected to aggressive crow attacks. Those crows are feral, almost incapable of speaking. Ooh, a very unsettling situation. So let's talk to the Marquis, Marcus. I'll get back to work. I'll Thank get you. back to work then. Good luck. I don't really need a hint at the moment. But let us head out. And uh, we'll be working on the treetop festival. 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 There. The treetop festival. Um, where we will kind of be like, yay, we're a new tree walker's apprentice. Woo! But I think working on that, all on our lonesome, will be next time. I'm kind of enjoying it so far, although, although, yeah, I need to probably read some of these. I think I'd prefer, like, the message to have popped up in the journal, would have been more useful. It's not popped up there, has it? Knows what to do before Jerry's training begins. He has to deliver invitations for the Treetop Festival. Okay. Well. That's what we'll be doing, working on the treetop festival. But that, <laughs> eventually, now once we get around to these things, we'll be, ooh, we'll be next time. That thing. Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>